because he's like oh. All right, it's time for our next caller. Let's get Matt Pereira. He's out of uh, Southern California. He's in the San Diego area. He oh, is a fishing nice. guide. And so, doesn't he own Angler Angler Clothing? Angler Clothing Company. Oh, so here we go I in three, two, one, go for it. At least you didn't say three, two, one. That's you. <laughs> and we're calling. Let's call Matt, Matt. man. Here we go. Call him Matt. Hello. Hey, is this Matt? Yeah, it is. Matt, how you doing? This is Paul, Outsider Radio Show and Podcast. I got my good buddies, uh, Tommy and Felix, in the studio with me this morning. Say hello, fellas. Hey, what's going on, Matt? What's up, Matt? Hey, what's up, you guys? How you guys doing? Uh, we're doing all right. I mean, you know, uh, first off, I want to apologize at the fact that you had to talk to Paul for longer than a minute um previously to uh talking to us so we t we uh tommy's referencing uh, for those of you listening live we met matt herrera he's a fishing guide yes out of southern california and he um guides out of san diego and that mm -hmm. uh, surrounding area we were at jess ranch and that's when i met uh matt and so tommy's telling him that um, that I'm sorry that he that had he, to talk yeah, to Yeah, that he had to talk to me for a while because Tommy didn't get to meet him. No, I didn't. I didn't. And Matt, I apologize for that. I was out walking around and doing some fishing and, and just on the other side of the lake and whatnot. Um, however, uh, again, by choice. I, by, oh. yeah, that was a little bit by choice. I had to get away from Paul for a minute. I was like, dude, <laughs> his, his voice is like nails on a chalkboard to me. It's just like, hey, how's it going? Hi. It's like, ugh. Well, Matt's, Matt is a uh, fishing guide, and we're going to go out with him. And um, we're I'm Felix and I will pay, um, but Tommy, is a, he doesn't pay for anything. So, But he's the type of guy that, <laughs> the true story, Tommy came to me one day in a new car, and I was like, where'd you get the new car? And he, and he said, my father-in-law bought a new car, and uh, he didn't know what to do with the old one. So he's the type of guy that you just give free stuff to, so... He's going to probably guide for free because you're going to like him that you're much. So, and you're just going to be like, so you know stupid. what? These other guys could pay. And uh, you're so stupid. His family, he's <laughs> obligated. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he was family. He was obligated to. He's like, well, I don't know what to do. Let me tell you what to do with that. Anyway, uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's talk to Matt about what he does, because he's yes, an Matt. owner of a uh, angler um, clothing company. Yes, and actually, he it's sent called in angler a photo. Clothing company. Send in a photo so we want to hear that fish story. Yes. Let's uh, let's find out where he caught that fish, the bait he was using, and the size of it. And then, Matt, you could tell us and everyone listening where to find your YouTube channel, which yep. we are subscriber to. Yep. And um, As the, well, clothing company, the clothing company and, and, and your, your guide service. Your guide service. So this is all you. Go for it, Matt. All right. Uh, for Angler Clothing Company, we started out in 2017. Oh, nice. Uh, it, Progressed pretty well. We started the uh, ACC Spotted Bay Bass Tournament Series this year in February and took off really well. And uh, we brought a, br a bunch of brands on with us that are uh, prize sponsors. And uh, so we kind of just built like a brand. We're going to do it again next week. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We're on the clothing company for ACC underscore fishing underscore. It will be put most of the information for that stuff. Hey, hey, Matt, so, you're, you might have to repeat some of that because uh, you're cutting you're, out you're just a cutting bit, cutting in and out just a little bit. So I want to make sure that everybody oh. can hear everything that you're saying, because, uh, you know, I would love to uh, help support you on your journey as well as ours. Definitely. You know what? Well, I'm in my office. Let me go outside. I probably have better service. Oh, okay. we hear you fine right now. <laughs> we hear you fine right now. Yeah, you just cut out for a second. Yeah, I, wa I just walked out of my office. It's like a little cave ah, uh, as are most offices like, <laughs> it's like this studio yeah this studio is a cave stuck with a wildebeest a in here oh, we got three bars <laughs> okay all right can now. you hear me okay we can yeah, hear we you can fine got you now okay cool uh so yeah angler we started that in 2017 um we just started a tournament series with it this year for spotted bay bass Awesome. Um, we host most of them down. In fact, we, we host all of them in San Diego. Uh, we have a really tight knit group of sponsors that donate really cool prizes for it. And everyone has a really good time. Um, <clears throat> next year, all of them will be hosted in Oceanside, at, uh, either at LP fishing supply or uh, legacy mm -hmm. brewing, a little brewery down there. That's going to host some of our events. So nice. yeah, 
I'm missing yeah, you. Like, we're, we heard brewery. We're yeah, like, oh, ear to ear oh. smiles. Oh, okay. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, well, our highest our highest turnout so far for one of those was like 92 people or something, and it was because we had uh, like Legacy came and brought some beer, and that's awesome. People saw that they got one free beer for signing up, and all of a sudden, everyone was down there. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so, you got hey, the right you know? bait. Yeah, you got the right bait. That's for this sure. This is my perfect tournament. Yeah, that's, it catches all fishermen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's what we got going on with Angler. We try to donate to charities and and promote people and and help everyone out as much as we can. We started it more as like a hobby, not as a. Uh, not to try to you know live off of we just started it for some for fun and mm-hmm. it's kind of taken off on its own so we uh, we we don't dump too much money into it we just kind of promote it how we can and keep everyone happy awesome awesome I, honestly uh, i'm 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 happy with this because this is very similar to us um we we ourselves started in uh, 2017 and uh we you know all we love to do is is help other companies grow, help people flourish. And, and I mean, we know that the, the fishing industry is so hard to, to make that break into. And um, totally. cause it, it's so competitive. And, uh, and especially now with the, the clothing uh, lines too, are, it's, it's, it's a competitive market. And um, so we enjoy helping those customers, those, those businesses. businesses out with us. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all, if you, the more partnerships you grow, then you become a unit, and it, it, it's just awesome. And I, I can't thank you enough. I mean, for what you're doing, and uh, I would love, I would love to be a part of uh, what what Matt's doing as well. Yeah, let's get some angler uh, angler fishing shirts on the show. Yeah, we'll get some angler clothing uh, on the show, and uh, uh, Tommy's we'll, we'll size four some... X. Shut the hell up. Sorry. Calls a kid. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna edit to that out. I'm gonna. Don't edit it. It's yeah, fine. Whatever. H E double hockey sticks. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I had, sorry, I had to cool it down for Paul. You know, the one that's wearing that stupid hat. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you're gonna see this later, Matt. But uh, I'm wearing a turkey hat. It's he, November. He's wearing one of those like men on film hats. Like he's like, mm, two snaps up. Uh, but, it's all about the joys okay. of fishing. Okay. I think I met Matt. You were fishing with family, right? It was uh, you had a couple of people there. Was there were family members, if I remember? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I was there with my my dad, Gil, and uh, met up with Mike, who has the YouTube channel Trout Made. Yeah. Nice, 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 cool. Trout yeah, Made. I think I, that's what I saw. He was like just shy of getting the one K to get spo- uh, get uh, the advertising money. Right? Is that who I was looking at? I believe so. Yeah, he's up at like eight hundred and something. He nice. just shy. I was nice. like, oh yeah, man, he's... you're right there. But yeah, no, like I, I, I would like, like to uh... YouTube channels, but no followers really. <laughs> but I don't, I don't put any content up. <laughs> no, I would like to uh, uh, see if we can donate a box to his uh, fishing tournament that he's got going on. What do you think about that? Which, which one is that? The oh, the, for the the, the bass tournament. The, bass, the, the bass tournament you got coming up, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be rad. I mean, <laughs> what, what what kind of bass are you going for? Just largemouth or? Oh no, this is for uh spot the the tournament oh, that we bass. run. Is okay, okay. Bass. Well, maybe the trout yeah, tournament body. might be a little bit better for us. We, we have we, we have more we have inshore, stuff. but we have a lot of bass. Yeah, but we have more. We'll uh, put something together. Yeah, we we'll put maybe some poles or something. Yeah, that, you know what? That next wouldn't be year, a bad idea. Play around with some largemouth, though. Next year, we're gonna do a small series, not a not a full year series. Probably just like three or four months and test mm-hmm. drive it for the largemouth and see how it goes. Nice, nice. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll, yeah. we'll see what we can get together for you guys. And, you know, see if we can put something and and you know help promote you as well. And uh, you know, again, maybe we you know you can help promote us and and you know it's the whole the whole fishing community that's kind it, of thing. That's what it's all about right there. Exactly. That's, you know, we all kind of hold each other up. Exactly. Um, but yeah. I uh, would... we, have, we have a little private team derby uh, at Dixon. They're having their derby, but we have a bunch of guys putting together like teams. Oh, And nice. uh, right now I think we have six, six teams of five men per team, and I think we have two more going to sign up. Nice. Uh, that'd be something cool if you guys want to put a box on that. What's uh, there be plenty only... of we don't have friends. We there's only three of us, and that's no. about as far. Me, me and Felix have friends. Paul has none. <laughs> <laughs> Paul has, Paul's an acquaintance. Says he's <laughs> Who, yeah, we could if we can borrow two friends. 
Who will be? A, who we, we, we will? We, we, we can, can probably get in. We that can tournament. round up some people. We can round up. We'll get, we can we can maybe round up a couple. We the people like who have invited us fishing. That's we'll, who will go. We'll, like they're not really. They we, don't really we know. We can us. round up a cleanup crew. We'll hit up right. Drew and, right. and whatnot. We'll, yeah. That's right. <laughs> there are people that we know. We'll get Drew and Tony as acquaintances. You know, like or it's or, a, or, or uh, Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave yeah, and and Drew. Yes, and, pro staff has yeah. to like they have to hang out with us. Yeah. Dave, Drew, and Tony. Yeah. There you go. And then <laughs> me and you. And then me and you. And then Paul can just stand on the boat and be like, "Look at me well, out I on a boat." To, I have to film and he do things for everything. us because you guys He's don't know do how to work the he doesn't equipment. Know how to fish. Is is my hat on straight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to Matt. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got. Yeah. We're talking to Matt. Herrera, he's a fishing guide out of uh, San Diego, California. He's got Angler Fishing Company. Check him out. And Matt, let's give people your your uh, underscore, your tag. Na- Is it called underscore? No, it's called no, tagline. Your YouTube channel and your IG name. That's what it's called. Um, I focus more on IG. I have a YouTube channel that once I start doing some guided trips here in the later November, I'll nice. post some videos of the trips on there. But I'm not like promoting a YouTube channel or anything. Okay. Uh, it's mostly just on Instagram. Okay. okay, IG. <clears throat> what's, cool. so what's my guide it? service? My guide service on Instagram is uh, at Matt Fishing Excursions. At Matt Fishing Excursions. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Nice. We'll definitely have to check that out. And I will pay for my seat. Paul doesn't. You know, Paul doesn't know what he's talking about. He just runs yeah, his mouth. Right. But anyway, <laughs> for those of you listening, Matt Herrera is sponsored by a brewery, and yes. uh, so that should get you there. Legacy. Legacy Brewing, right? Am I correct on that? Legacy Brewing in Mount of Oceanside. Nice. See? They'll be hosting half of our events next year. You know, we need to go to uh, said brewery, too. I mean, it wouldn't be our first stop at a brewery. I mean, we we, that would be our first stop going down there. <laughs> going down to and that then one. Fish, have, yeah. Yeah. We have an event on November 16th down there. It's not at the brewery. It's just like a block and a half away at LP Fishing Supply. Uh, oh, yeah, one of the LP. sponsored style from uh, he owns Nutter, uh, Nutter Bait. Okay. Um, he also has an Instagram called Wolf Pack Brewing. Uh, he's an insane home brewer. They they have a whole club and everything, but he's donating the brew for the next one, so he'll have some uh, some IPAs and I believe a cider. Ooh. Ooh. So that'll be a, nice. that's a good one. Right there, nice. You know, we there's there's a lot of good ciders. There's a joke with the cider, but I, I was gonna do that right now. I'm just, I can't. Whatever. It's not. Whatever. <laughs> it was good. You know, it's like you're, yeah. You know. So no, I'm I'm totally down for uh, for it's for a, it's and, Dickens. I know. Have, have, yes. have you tried yeah, Dickens? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I already know your joke, and we're we're not going there. So those yeah. <laughs> we're we're not doing Dick- it Dickens. It's a cider. <laughs> Dickens uh, cider. <laughs> you can't say that, Tommy. <laughs> I, I, I just uh, said what the name was. It's a bad anyway, joke. Uh, no, but <laughs> it wouldn't be our first time at a brewery, so I'm I'm down to go and meet those guys as well, and uh, you know, you know, get get to taste some of that as well. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm it's a good it's that. a good crowd. I always tell companies that are you know just starting out or, or have been around for a while that it's, it's a great way to meet new faces in the fishing community and awesome. get your brand out there as well. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, no, that's... A- Maybe we'll do the show from the road. We, we already have... We booked guests for this month, but we'll, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, but we can we can still uh, go out and do a, a live on location. Next week is actually somebody's... Yeah. Your He's your name. He's your stunt he's double. He's my twin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's another Tommy Medina out there somewhere. Yeah, his name is Tommy uh, Medina. Yeah. And, uh, the doppelganger? <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy crap, there's two of us. That's insane. <laughs> this poor world. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, me. yeah, we're. I actually want to go. I want to go. Uh, I've never fished in uh, Dixon, so I want to check that out. Yeah, no, I'm down. Uh, that'd be fun. It'd be a, it'd be a blast to go check it out and and kill it. Yeah, you guys are more than welcome to cruise down one day, and we'll we'll hop on a boat together and go shred it. Nice, nice. And yeah, uh, it's, it's a fun lake. It, it gets really crowded. Um, as, as far as boats, boats and shore, but you know, the coves are kind of small. It's a big lake, but the coves are small and the boats really pack in there. But uh, typically, the bite's really good and it's a clear water lake, so you can actually sight fish there and watch nice. the trout hit you. Nice. I am totally down for that. Sight fishing awesome. is fun. I'm, t- I'm totally down for that. But yeah, I mean, it'd be a go- cool way to go and meet new people, and, and, and I'm down for that. It was just like Just Ranch. Just Ranch was a blast. And Matt, you sent in a yeah. photo, so let's yep. hear let's hear about that photo. 
It looks like oh, you... okay. So uh, that was our last trip we just did in uh, towards the end of September. Uh, we usually go up in the beginning of June, and then once throughout summer, and then we go at the end of September. And uh, we have our lakes that we like going to, but some of them were closed down for snow, and some of them just the bite wasn't on. And uh, we've gone to Convict before and float tubed it, but just never really spent quality time there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we ended up finding some off this ridge uh, that I guess people just walked right by. And um, I can't remember that picture I sent you. I can't remember if it was the bigger one I got that day. It's or a pretty or big the, one. The one under it. Yeah, I mean, it, it was short, but it's super fat. And when I hooked it, I knew I knew it was over six right away. And uh, we caught a bunch like that that day. But uh, they were just swimming the shorelines, and people were just passing them by. And uh, I happened to stop and see them and pop down. And I think we plucked off five or six about that size in that spot and then moved down and got a few more. But What were you using uh, as bait? That, that particular fish, I was throwing a yellow and white um, hookup bait. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I know hookups. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. But, uh, <clears throat> catching them on a, I got, I got some on some spoons and a few other ones on just like a wacky rig power worm, which is like a go-to up there to work anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so we were mixing it up, but that particular fish was on a, on a hookup bait. Cool. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm totally yeah. down to go check that out, man. That's Convict Lake, Tommy. We go up there no, all, I, all I, the time, man. I, I, I know, but I'm just saying I'm totally down to, to go check that out as well as his, the Dixon Lake thing. So I'm down. Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't really get on too many big ones up in the Sierras. You know, that you know you get a six, seven pounder up there, you're pretty stoked on it. Where down here, people oh, yeah. catch six, seven pounders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I, when we go up to the Sierras, I mean, we usually just catch what, like a pound, pound maybe two, maybe. Yeah. But you know, yeah, and that's that's pretty norm, the norm up there. Yeah. It's they're all like you know, you, know, you, you get, get the that scenery one more or less. every once in a while. Yeah, you might get a good one every yeah. once in a while, but yeah. Unless you're like people, me people ask me all the time. They that people ask me all the time. Uh, you know, <laughs> how do you guys always catch the big ones up there? And it's it's because we most of the time, and I'm not afraid to say, we sight fish them. I'll oh, walk yeah. laps around a little until I see that big one swimming the shoreline, and, and typically they'll bite. Oh, yeah. uh, but most people go set up, and they're just fishing one area, blind fishing, and, and you will catch the small ones like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're fishing, just, just, to, if, if you're fishing just to fish, then you're going to catch, you know, you're going to catch whatever's biting. But if you're, like you, know, like you said, sight fishing and, you know, kind of cruising around, you're, you're, you're gunning for some big guns, you know? I mean, that's what you're going for. Yeah, so. totally. We're talking about fishing yeah, and, and the. We're talking to Matt Herrera. He's uh, telling us about fishing the, um, the eastern Sierra Nevadas out in uh, the Mammoth Lakes area, and we go there too. Uh, for those of you listening, we like to fish Silver Lake, and you can sight fish, but most of the time, we just pull up and and do exactly um, what we still water fish and we're blind fishing. Uh, unless you're like me and I'm asleep on the boat and fishing. Yeah, tell thing. me. So I, I caught one while I was asleep, and I just reeled it in while laying down. So yeah, we have a photo of that. Yep, yep. that's that's skill. Is that that's that, that what is, that is? That is skill. We do, we do plenty of that too. Yeah, that's skill. <laughs> well, see, okay. We typically will go, we'll go hard one day and go walk around, hit three or four different lakes, and then the next day it's it's just kind of barbecuing and drinking and hanging out. That's, that's pretty much what it was like there that time know. when we went. Yep. We went. We were hitting. We hit up June Lake, and then we went over to Silver Lake, and then we did Rush Creek. And we were just like, bing, 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 yeah. bing, just going down and around. I took him out to Yosemite, and we fished. Uh, we fished right there outside too, the front yeah. there, yeah. yeah. But you know, the the reason why I was asleep was because somebody made me drive the whole way. He's like, "Dad, don't worry, we're gonna get up there, and I'm gonna drive half the way, and you're gonna drive half the way." And I'm like, "Okay." I drove for like an hour. He drove and, for an uh, hour, dude. I was like, "Dude, I'm tired." <laughs> <laughs> we we they drove just got from, out of the city. That's yeah, right. seriously. Dude, here's we, the, here's what you do when you drive up. No, here's what I did. I drove, and I was like, "Dude, we need to get beer." And I pulled over an hour into the drive to get beer. In what, Palmdale or Lancaster or somewhere? Wherever it was. And I got out. I was like, dude, can you drive? I'm a little tired. <laughs> and I slept the rest of the way. And then he fell asleep. And I was just like, next thing you know, I'm in, I'm pulling in towards like Bishop. And I'm like, this jerk. <laughs> you know? I, I already drove the long stretch of the Mojave. Like, I did all of it. I woke up the next morning the just morning, ready to fish. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> And then and then he wakes up and he's like, "All right, let's go." Let's and I'm fish. like, What's "I'm the like, same dude, thing, the same thing happened when we went to Oregon." Yeah, exactly, I did. I did. It's, it's, the, thing, it's the car ride. 
He didn't drive. Sleep in the car. Yeah, it's the car. He, drive. he sat there and hugged his <laughs> body pillow. He did. <laughs> and we, we were good the whole. We day. went up to to Hermiston, Oregon, because we have a brewery up there that that helps sponsor the show and sponsors us. Uh, Ordnance Brewing. Ordnance Brewing, Boardman, and, Oregon. Yep. And so we went up there, and they were doing a big. We were doing a big meet and greet and thing like that, and. Uh, that was our first YouTube appearance. Yeah, that was. And podcast. Yeah, right. it was. And uh, so we drove 17 hours from Orange County to Hermiston, Oregon. And this fool, the whole way there, was probably a for what, like maybe 12 hours of that? Uh, more than that, dude. I mean, he was more than that. on and off the I whole woke time. Up, I woke up to buy beer. I think he woke up, he woke up to tinkle. <laughs> That's about as long as he woke up. He's like, I gotta go tinkle. I wanted to fly, but these guys wanted, I guess. Hey, at least you got the beer. Yeah. Oh, my God. He didn't even buy any for us. That was the thing. He bought himself a beer. No, you guys yeah, didn't exactly. want to. I asked you. Because we were like, the ones driving. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's like, hey, you guys want a beer? And I'm like, dude, we're the ones driving. You're asleep in the bag. It doesn't matter if you More drink. for me. But that was a mistake because we went to the brewery and Unlimited just, here, keep oh, drinking you, this. You made and the most I, of that. I did not remember Oh, dude. It let's was, let's most not talk of, about that Most again. of that night. They have film of me let's doing... Let's not talk about that We should that post again. that one day. Just like... No. <laughs> laughing. That's how much I drank that day. I started on the road. Yeah. <laughs> you did not... Fit, just you kept did it not going all night. I just kept it going. You know it's bad when your two buddies have to, like, babysit you. Yeah, these guys <laughs> were got so annoyed by me. And it's usually the other way around. Like, they annoy me. But this time... Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> they were like, I can't. Like, That's dude, a pole I, I never yeah. seen before. Like, dude. <laughs> well, let's get back to fishing. So uh, let's not talk about beer drinking. Matt, uh, Matt Herrera, we're going to see him soon. He's He hosts a ton of uh, tournaments yep. and knows people who who organize them. And so uh, let's uh, let's make sure to promote Matt I'm and his angler, angler fishing beer. company. Angler Clothing. Anger Clothing Company. Yeah, thank yeah. you for the and correction. I would, I would love to. Uh, and, and Matt, this is just you know you can we we can talk off the air, but um, I would love to help sponsor you and your clothing company. And we'll we'll what we'll try to do is uh, I'll reach out to you about maybe getting some shirts or hats or something like that made so we can wear them on the podcast. Are you three X now or still four? I'm a two X now. You're two X. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling right. sexy. But still a B cup. Yeah. But still a big <laughs> yeah, I'd love to send you guys some product and vice versa. You know, we can yeah, work for each sure. other. And, for sure, man. For absolutely. sure. Absolutely. All right, Matt. Well, from all of us here at Outsider Tackle Box, bud, tight lines, man, fish more, and have a good day at work. I'm sorry you're stuck in the office, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, yeah. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. It was a pleasure being on the show. Thank you guys very much, and uh, I look forward to talking to you some more and setting up some fishing trips. Yeah, yeah. for sure, man. Well, we're sure. looking forward to it. Guidelines, bud. All right. Take Thanks, care, guys. Enjoy your weekend. You, you too. too. Bye-bye.